Rafael D7, baby, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Bear Lex, Bear Compass. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, bruh. When I analyze California rap, the state it's in, and how it's going, over the last few years, we, as fans of music, done lost some great artists due to street affiliations. You see what I'm saying? Draco the Ruler, Slim 400, um, Briss, Slow B, um, even smaller artists, J Black. Um, Lil Yace was a bigger artist for Northern California. You know, a lot of different reasons, a lot of different possibilities if they didn't die, Nipsey, you know what I'm saying? Nipsey was trying to figure out how to monopolize his region, which I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily understand the power they behold when they have it, you feel me, and the knowledge that they lack is the reason why most aren't successful at the end. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you get all this shit, if you get all this money, you accumulate all this wealth off of music, you want to really veer away from investing in music at that point. The music should make the money, and you invest the money in things that built long time wealth because this is what ends up happening, right? Whoever, like say, if you're from an area, right? You're from an area and yes, you know, there's a lot of rappers that died in California though. So I don't wanna forget names. Money side suede, a Hispanic rapper. Uh, there's a few Hispanic rappers that passed away. Little little Ty. You know what I'm saying, from Sacramento. Uh little TYS, I mean, but let me get back, you know what I'm saying, I just didn't want to miss people, but, like, if you're from an area, bruh, and, and, you know, this is what bothers me about this shit, it's because y'all funk with each other, y'all call it politics, but really, you're fucking up what the potential that you can do is, like, you could literally buy back your hood. Like, if you really love your hood that much, you would consider, like, if once you get on buying property in your neighborhood, bro. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It, instead of buying a watch, trying to impress the internet, you would try to impress you and, like, do some good shit for yourself, bro, and for your people. Because if you own property, um, it's going to accumulate you money at a certain point, or smart investments, bruh, that um, is always going to make you money. It's like a for sure check, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, educate yourself once you get a couple of dollars so you can see where you, you can put money in, bruh, that makes itself, you know what I'm saying? So um, I do see some of the older rappers in Northern California starting to open up barber shops and food restaurants and clothing and liquor and shit, but it took them niggas 20 years of rapping, bro, to realize, hey, I'm wasting hella money on bullshit or drugs, you know what I'm saying? So, I just see all the, like, Nipsey was smart about that, you know, and all of these rappers died, bro, and they didn't really get to enjoy what they built, what they accomplished. And it's it's hella sad, bro, that people um, still talk about a lot of them and still uh, support them. You know what I'm saying? And they're not here to ever receive their blessings, bro. But I do want to say that all this politics shit and shit like that, see... I'm just, I grew up like, nigga, like, you was, like, a, if you was getting money, if, like, hustling was, like, what clarified who was a street nigga. Like, if you wasn't getting money, then you wasn't even considered a street nigga. So, crashing out and burning 
and just like, where's your, you know what I'm saying? Where's that at, bruh? You know what I'm saying? Everybody just kind of mad, upset at what? I don't know. You feel me? Like, you should be wanting to buy back your hood. A lot of y'all can't even go to y'all hoods because of the police or it's just not cool like that no more for you. And then, and, and you know what happens really a lot of times, bruh, is over the years people move and shit. So, I mean, a hood, bruh, you know what I'm saying? But if you love your city, support your city by buying back property and not causing, um, you know, high crime so that you after you get to that point, though, I'm saying, like, you you know, when you on the come up, I understand, but... When you on the come up, be mindful, bro, that you, when you get successful, you might want to come back here and be able to enjoy it like a king. Y'all niggas running like running like slaves, bro, around around these neighborhoods because, you know, you didn't cause all this chaos. So I'm saying, like, think about that shit, bro. You got the chance to do whatever the fuck you want to do. So do something great, bro. Don't, I mean, this shit's kind of boring now. I don't even really like blogging because ain't nobody got no cool shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no fun shit. Everybody's just hella mad. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas is winning. I'm the mad one, bruh. I'm still working, bruh. I, I can't even hustle no more in the streets. You know why? Because I don't want to hurt people. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing all these people talk to themselves. And Rafael D7, baby, only trying to keep it real with y'all. And only trying to give y'all food for thought. I ain't saying knowledge because, man, you already might know this. But, uh, yeah, man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button.